we of my generation named this building Old Red. It was just, it was old, it was a brick building, and it was like high school. You stayed in this building the whole day. And so when classes changed, those three stairwells were just bogged down with people going up and down, up and down. And so, you know, we just had a, a deep feeling for it. And we honor that legacy. Here at Duke, we've been investing in science and technology. We know the way forward is through hiring not only the best talent in our faculty and staff and recruiting the best students, but having world-class facilities. And Hudson Hall has been the heart of our Pratt School of Engineering for so many years, since it was built in 1948. Just a, a beautiful building, but in, in sore need of renovation. I think as engineers, we're tasked with creating the world of tomorrow. And that becomes incredibly difficult if we're not given the space to even envision what tomorrow is going to look like. What we need for this 21st century research is a 21st century research facility. And I'm very excited about Hudson Hall taking a classic building from the 40s and reimagining it through renovations and the new addition to make it a state-of-the-art building that will be functional more than 100 years after it was first built. Because Hudson Hall is such an iconic structure for our community, we want to first preserve the outer facade of the building because it is such a recognizable feature of who we are. Many of the classrooms and the laboratory spaces of Hudson Hall were designed for a curriculum years ago where it was a faculty member lecturing to students. As we think about experiential learning, we need flexible classrooms that allow students to actually work together to collaborate and ideate solutions to problems that are sourced from real world clients. I feel a great deal of excitement when I step into spaces that feel new. Open spaces where I can collaborate and talk to people, that's what brings me to class every day. The students are incredible and they deserve to have a space that sort of matches their level. And so I think that's what the new Hudson will be. So we'll have internal atria that will be created in this new building, fantastic spaces for faculty and students to mix, to mingle, to share ideas. The flexible teaching labs also help facilitate students, faculty, and even external collaborators to work together. And I believe that, that will be the most important part and will demonstrate impact in the long term. On the back side of the building that fronts the Levine Science Center, this new building will replace the current annex with a beautiful building that will animate and enliven that entire quadrangle. The undergraduates who are considering Duke for their degrees have their choice of any school to go to. So we want them to come to what's really the central Pratt building and just fall in love with it. In the first year design program, using spaces like the pod, I was reminded every day that not every school is like Duke. Like, that these modern spaces are really make Duke unique and make our engineering program one of a kind. By giving to this project, our alumni are enabling the next generation to stand on their shoulders, not just to experience what they experienced at Duke, but a better version of the Pratt School, a better version of Duke, a world-class experience in a world-class building. This is the partnership we're asking you to join in.